<laughs> all right so just before we go across to that i know that um our friends hold on all right so we are our friends at home are trying to find ways in which to keep constructive one and ways in which they could probably reduce the bills because for some people they have lost finances in some way or form and you know uh, doing certain things on your own could help to alleviate that um, need for having to make so many purchases such as food now gardening is one way in which you can provide for yourself and provide for your family if you know what you're doing and in due time you could actually reap the fruit sometimes literal fruit of your benefits so today this diy is based on gardening now i have a cutting board in front of me and some produce and um we're gonna do some pimentos and also some tomatoes today and you can see just how easy it is to have these things uh, germinate and then propagate and you could actually grow your own tomatoes at home and your own pimentos at home as well so lisa is going to join me and we're just going to see how easy it is to do but before we do that mm -hmm. we need to prepare the soil so i took a few notes from right. um, a conversation we had from ministry of agriculture recently okay. and i grabbed myself some soil some sharp sand and mm -hmm. some humus right uh, so <clears throat> Uh, she mentioned the ratio, and there are different ratios you could use mm -hmm. for your whatever you're planting. So for some things, it is better to have a soil that, uh, that keeps more water. For other things, it's better to have uh, soil that lets more water go to go. But yeah. uh, we want to keep it a little bit balanced today. Okay. So I have these different types of soil today right. uh, to mix them so that we could create a pretty balanced soil so that you could start off your kitchen garden. Over here as well, I have a uh, part of an egg carton. All right, here we, there we have it. There we go. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, these are simple things you could use at home that you already have at home for the most part, you know, styrofoam cups and these things as well to uh, start your garden nursery. Right. So Lisa is with me here today and I have one more type of soil to get. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the humus uh, soil. This is very, very mm -hmm. rich in nutrients. Uh, right. So here we have there. You could get it from your agro store. You could go right. get it... Um, you could go like pick up manure and stuff okay. like that as well. Or if you compost at home, and uh, maybe in the future we could get some ideas on how to compost in the Ministry of Agriculture as well. Uh, you could create your own fertile, rich soil by um, using uh, organic compounds to make the soil very, very nutritious for plants. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I have two types of regular soil here. You know, this is just a, this is just your basic earth. All right, I have some sharp sand, and I have my humus. Now, the reason I have these three types is because this one adds a lot of nutrition uh, for plants. Mm -hmm. This one is your basic soil, which will give you the body really, and it, it holds moisture to some degree. Okay. And then this one is the sharp sand, which um, helps to aerate or, ve or ventilate the soil to okay. some degree right. as well. So that's why I have this dirty looking bucket over here, because mm -hmm. uh, we're doing some dirty work today. And I have two of the regular soil. All right. And if you want to put in the humus and the sharp sand for me too, Lisa. Okay. Just pour it together. Yeah, so notice the um, ratio that I had one part sharp sand, mm -hmm. one part humus, and then two parts of the regular soil. I have my trowel over here. If you have a garden shovel, one of those gardening tools, yeah. uh, you could do that. You want to mix with me, Lisa? Yeah. Okay. Right, so you don't have to get your hands too dirty right now anyway. Okay. So you just mix it up? Yeah, you just mix it evenly so that you can um, have a good working soil. And again, we put these ratios, two parts regular soil. One part sharp sand and one part humus. Now, for different plants, there would be uh, other necessities. You know, you could, you may need soil that is more porous, soil that holds more water. But this one is nice and balanced, so okay. it could work for quite a Are few. Are we using things. these again? All right. Yeah, we're actually okay. going to use it to scoop so that we could transfer some of the soil to ah, this egg okay. carton here, All so right. you could start your nursery. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have um, three things I want to plant today. Uh, one of them is very special, and I'll tell you why in a, in a little bit. So we're going to do some tomatoes. Right. All right. And it's very simple to start the process with tomatoes because you could actually propagate tomatoes by just doing some very thin slices because it holds the seeds in place and you actually plant the slice. Ah, okay. All right, so I'm just going to grab a few more slices from here. A serrated knife just works a little bit better on a tomato than a straight knife, especially if that straight knife is dull. <laughs> so the serrated Harry, knife... Gary, Gary, leave my knives yeah. out of this. <laughs> I didn't say anything about your knives, but you just uh, <laughs> revealed something there. All so right, once so we plant this, in a couple of weeks, we'll be able to see it as if it's growing like these. That's right, because okay. uh, these are actually tomatoes. Say I got this from my brother-in-law yesterday right. um, because I needed some planting advice. Okay. And uh, they plant a lot. You know, so you could just slice your tomatoes at home like this. Mm -hmm. And with each slice, you can plant it. So you want to put some soil down um, in using your... This, using a cup. 
right? Yeah, mm -hmm. because the tomato slices are a little bit big, yeah. I will actually um, plant these in a cup okay. and the other seeds I have over here, I'll plant in the right, carton. So should I do like this? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. All right, so what you want to do is just place your slice like this, cut side down, mm -hmm. and then put some more soil on top of it. Okay, I can do that. Simple as that? Simple as that, right? Wow. That's enough. That's, That's enough. enough. You don't want it too okay, deep. So this is one done? That's one done there. Right. That's your tomatoes. And what you do afterward is you water it. Now, okay. a little key point I, I, I left out here. You need a, a few holes at the bottom right. of your styrofoam cup so that the water can actually run out. Because you want the soil to hold the moisture, mm -hmm. but you don't want the cup itself to just keep all that moisture in there because uh, tomatoes is something that happens to get root rot really fast. Okay. All right? That's something I learned so we, yesterday. we're going to watch that grow. Over yeah. the next few weeks, Yeah, over the next few weeks. So okay. you water it twice a day, morning and evening, mm -hmm. all right? And mm -hmm. uh, with that, okay. you keep it in a cool place as well. Right. We just now, have enough time for like half of this. Yeah, so pimentos, mm -hmm. as you said, half, you actually do <laughs> cut it in half. Right. And when you cut it in half, you see all the seeds are there. Right. So similarly, you um, you get your, your cup and your soil, mm -hmm. all right? And you put the pimento down, seed side up like this. Where, where's my camera? Where's my camera? Mm -hmm. All right, seed yeah. side, the seed size go up like this, right. all right, mm -hmm. and then you top it with soil. Okay. And okay. same thing, you water right. it daily, mm -hmm. water it daily, and then you are good to go. Right. So you water it there, make sure you put your yeah. holes at the bottom. Finally, this seed uh, here, this is very special, this is called Moringa. Right. Uh, it's a medicinal and food crop, mm -hmm. uh, and you do very special things with it. So let's get some soil in this um, egg carton here. All right, you can put them in the different sections. Right. All right, and what you do with these as well, again. And just put cover some them. some soil, yeah, and you cover them with, with okay. uh, soil again. Yeah. Uh, you put some water in there. Do you have to bore a hole at the bottom of this as well? This one, no, because this is cardboard. Mm -hmm. um, it is porous to some degree, mm -hmm. and it's very favorable for the plant itself. Okay, all right. So okay. that's not bad at all. That's and, and really good, Carrie. And uh, again, besides mm -hmm. if you want these seeds, this is actually a very, very amazing tree. We'll talk about it after. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just uh, as simple as that. So this entire thing with soil, and you can see how uh, easily you can start your own home garden, mm -hmm. planting things that would be beneficial for you and your family. And that's it for DIY on now. And this is what it looks like.